Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this video guide on the Eberspacher Easy Start Timer Control Unit that you see in front of me here. This is the control unit that will power an air or water heater commonly found in leisure vehicles, trucks and boats. Now of course, being a leisure vehicle dealership, I'm coming at it from a leisure vehicle standpoint and today we're really only going to be talking about the surface level functionality of this unit. If you want to know more in depth uh, features or how to use more in-depth features and functionality please refer to your manual um, as that will go into more depth this is just going to sort of get you up and running so to speak so let's get to it so when using this unit it's very very simple all you need to do is long press this button long press and the unit will fire up and turn the heating on but wait, there's a lot more to it than that. We'll come back to that feature, but technically that is all you need to do. But what do we have here in front of us? We have controls, obviously buttons to either side and a central display. Now the left and right arrow is going to cycle the icons at the very top of the screen. And um, this allows us to access the various sort of sub menus, if you will. And depending on what we have selected, Below that, we will see options for that particular subsystem or option being displayed. Down here, we have a back or off button. And down here, we have an on button or select. So let's start by going through what we see here. So this is the heater screen. So as you can see, it's got sort of radiating um, logo or symbol just there. So that means we're on heating. It's got the time and the currently detected internal temperature just there. If I select on the heating, we can then choose our target temperature and we can modify that using the arrows left or right to go up or down in temperature. Press the button again. We can then choose the duration the heater is to remain on for, choosing anything up to two hours uh, as an actual selection, or we can have it running indefinitely uh, using the infinity symbol there. And once we confirm that, you can see now we have the heating there is flashing, showing it's on and we have it on here. You can tell it's on because we have that infinity symbol just there and the internal temperature will hopefully go up as the heater kicks on and uh, heats the space up. Now to turn it off, we just press the button just here, the square button there, and it should then say off to indicate it is off and believe it or not the long press function here that's just going to fire up the heater immediately using the last settings that you chose via this way if i go to the fan option we can just turn the fan element on only so this is not going to heat any air it's not going to cool it either but it is going to circulate ambient air which could be handy on a hot still day we get the option of a timer here and once we've turned it on we're good to go and we turn it off in exactly the same way the long press function, by the way, doesn't work for the fan. It only turns on the heater itself. Next up, we have some settings. So we can go into here and we can play around with various settings in this menu. This is where I'm going to ask you to refer to your manual if you want to know more about that. And the same here with programs. We can go in and we can play with various different programming modes if we so wish to have our heating operate on a timer basis. Again, please refer to your manual for that. Otherwise, that is pretty much it for the function of the unit. It is that simple. Now, when we have the heating on and we want to change temperature, just simply select it once more. That's all you need to do and confirm your options again, just to change the temperature. Uh, I didn't mention that when I was showing the heating at the start, but there you go. It's as easy as that. Just re-go into the menu. Um, uh, but that's it. That's how to use the Eberspacher Easy Start Timer. I'm Sev. I hope this video has been useful and thank you very much for watching.